What's up guys, Takedown here with another comic book video for you. So today is going to be another mixed comic book uh, video. No real theme, it's just um, some of my cool, unique, special comics that I've collected over the years. So let's just get right into it. Starting off, I don't have issue number one, I really wish I did. But it is the official Marvel Index 2. The Amazing Spider-Man. So this is issue number two. And what this series is, this is 1985. Episode one, or sorry, issue number one would include um, basically a brief description of each comic from issue one to issue 30 of the Amazing Spider-Man series. And so it would give you the rundown of what happened in each um, one of these so it'd be issue 1 to issue 30 and then issue 31 to issue 60 and it was actually really cool I wish I had issue number one that would be iconic but I don't so here is I don't even have issue number three so that was issue number two here is issue number four really cool covers really interesting comics and issue number five and that's all I have for my collection for these ones so I will be looking for the other ones eventually in due time. Next up we have issue 292 of Fantastic Four with Adolf Hitler on the front. Where they're actually planning on whether or not they should kill him. Really interesting comic. I did share that before but the quality was hit or miss. So decided to share that again in a video. This one here is issue number one. It is Transformers Generation 2, so a newer comic, but to me it's a special one, it's a really thick one, and that is because there is a cool battle scene, I'm not going to take it out of my sleeve, but right here this would open up and the other side would open up and give you a full um, battle scene with uh, the Transformers and Decepticons, so that's actually really cool, I thought I'd share it. I know it's past the holidays, but here is the Punisher holiday special starting with issue number one. I think this is the only Punisher comics I have. I, I do have others where he's um, like a special guest in it, but these are the only Punisher only comics I have. So this is issue number two for the holiday special. Really cool. I like the Santa hat over the skull, over the uh, Punisher logo. And this is issue number three. So really, really interesting comics. Next up I have the Mighty Avengers. This is issue 250. I'm not sure if I shared that before, but look at that cover. That is amazing. Avengers are always something that everybody can relate to just because there's so many superheroes in the, in the league. So it's really, really cool. Issue number one of four. I only have issue number one, I believe. And that's the um, Terminatrix Objective Avengers. So it's a newer style comic. Nonetheless, it is in my collection. I have a giant sized annual, the Avengers, issue 16, 1987. Really cool battle scene there. Right in space. That was interesting. Okay, so I do have... Issue number two of four of the Terminex objective. I just had them mixed up the order. So this is issue number two. Covering up the logo. I'm not a fan of that, but it is a great cover nonetheless. I do have issue three. So I do have a complete set. I did not notice that. Then again, I had my orders mixed up. Really cool. And then the final one. Make sure that doesn't slide off the table. Final one right there. So I do have the complete um, Terminatrix objective series for the uh, Avengers, so that's cool. I thought I did, but I just had the order mixed up. So now it's a comic, a few comic books that are, I don't know the whole backstory of. I really plan on looking it up. I do plan on reading them all. I haven't read them, but they're in my collection because they're all unique in their own way. And I hope to collect more like this in the future if there is more. I'm not sure how many comic books uh, there were of it. 
to start off, Fantastic Four. And they're all with this border. So it has all Marvel superheroes forming a border. Not sure why. I'm assuming it's for the 25th anniversary. But I'm not really sure. I have to look that up. This is the um, Spectacular Spider-Man. Really cool design. The Amazing Spider-Man. I think I like that one a little bit better. And then we have the Web of Spider-Man, which is issue 20 for Web of Spider-Man. This one for the Spider-Man, this one seems to be my favorite. It looks the most iconic of a Spider-Man one. I have G.I. Joe with the same border. Luckily I found this one in my uh, collection, so not overly a huge fan of G.I. Joe, but I do love um, G.I. Joe themselves, if that makes any sense. And last but not least, Captain America Classic. This is issue 323. So I'm not 100% sure what the border is for. I'm assuming it's for the 25th anniversary. Please comment down below. Let me know. Just I'd like to know more knowledge of it. Um, I will be looking up to see if there's any other superheroes that have it. I'm assuming Iron Man, but I didn't have it in my Iron, Iron Man collection. So that would be interesting to know, and maybe I'll collect more in the future. But anyways, just wanted a quick little short video for you guys to share more of my collection. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.